I'm Tim Herrera with the Sacramento County Office of Education here with another Teacher of the Year profile. We're speaking now with Mandy Friedel, who is a teacher with the River Delta Unified School District. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us uh, where you teach and what you teach. Well, I teach in Rio Vista, and I, I have a, an interesting job in that I teach one day a week in a job share, third grade classroom, and the other four days of the week, I'm the Title I Reading Specialist. And I also am the EL coordinator for my, my school. Okay, explain what a Title I reading specialist uh, does. I um, pull students who are struggling in reading from first grade through fifth grade, and I work with them um, four days a week to try and improve their reading skills. Mm -hmm. And explain, explain the impact on a student getting that kind of special help, how, how it makes a difference. Well, many of these, all of these students are, are below basic in their own um, grade. And so they get to come to me for some individual attention. And so um, it's a room where they can be very successful. And we target the skills that they need, whether it's fluency or comprehension. Some of them still need decoding work. And so it's um, more individualized attention at their level and their own classroom, they're still getting grade level standards, but they they get to kind of um, get their skills boosted when they come to me. And, and how do you see that supplemental um, assistance really helping the students, uh, not only in reading, but in other courses? It does help in all kinds of areas because it boosts self-esteem, which is really important. A lot of these students don't feel good about reading when they first come to me. And as they start working at their own level and improving and we graph their progress and they see their progress, they start to feel better. And when they start to feel better, then they do better in, in all areas of, of their education. You know, I think we should backtrack a little bit and explain what Title I is. It's a um, government program that's funding basically for the school. And so the our school has chosen to use some of its funding to have me be a, an intervention teacher. So it, it's an intervention program is okay. what we're using it for. Okay, and these yes. are, are these students who are kind of in the lower socioeconomic uh, area? Many of them are. Mm -hmm. The first year that you're a Title, title I school, that's the focus is the students who are socially socioeconomically <laughs> uh, disadvantaged. But um, after the, the first year, then it's a, the school, it's school-wide, and so anybody who is struggling school-wide, it doesn't have to matter about their, um, their socioeconomic level. Now, why did you gravitate to being a reading specialist? Why is that an area that interested you? Um, I have just always loved reading and um, literacy from the very beginning, and I love I love being excited about books and reading, and when I see students who aren't excited about reading, I it really bothers me. I want them to see what's out there and to see that books are going to open up the world for them. And so I want students to to have that skill to be excited and be able to read anything they want to read. What do you do about those students, though, that are not as excited about reading as you are? <laughs> and there are probably a few. Uh, what do you do to kind of motivate them? To, to, what, are, what are some incentives or what are some things that you do? Well, I, I do think that incentives are very important. And in fact, I keep a little um, container of salt in my classroom because I had heard when I was going to uh, Cal Poly to learn to be a teacher that you can bring a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. And so what you can do, though, is salt the oats so that they w will want to drink. And so I try to remind myself all the time, you can do the best teaching in the world, but if a student isn't buying into it, it's not going to, to do anything. So I try to so salt oats. And for some students, that's um, graphs where they can see their own progress. And for other students, it's a treasure box where if they, they do what they're asked to do and they work as hard as they possibly can, they earn points and then get to go into the treasure box and pick some, some treasures out of there. And of course, I always have books in the treasure box and mm -hmm. I make a huge deal when students <laughs> pick books because that's the best sure. that I can think of. I, um, I purchase books 
from used bookstores and I collect books all year long and I give them out to kids so that they have more books at home and I wrap up new books at Christmas time and or the holidays I should say and um, before summer break so that they can see that books are a wonderful gift and when I get the students young enough and I'm so excited about them they get very excited too and then if they come in older and they're not so excited um, the more we work with it and the more we talk about it and, and read them wonderful things so that they can hear great literature and poetry and things that are fun um, and they start to improve, they start to like it too. Now again, how so, long have you been teaching? I have been teaching for 22 years. Okay. What kind of changes have you seen in education over that span of time? Oh, lots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we went through the whole language stage and then the um, more phonics kind of reading. I really believe there's got to be a mix. And um, I've seen students change over the years from where the biggest problem was probably um, talking or, and chewing gum until where there are major problems with students who um, have really tough lives and often come to us that um, in situations that are heartbreaking and then having to um, try and find what's going to motivate them and you know when your basic needs aren't being met um, you have to meet try and help those be met first before you can even work on the the other things. You have to kind of see what's so, there first and, and, and then work from there. Yes, right. right. So uh, was there a teacher in your past that inspired you to become a teacher? I mean, what brought you to the career? Um, I was one of those students who just always loved school. I was fortunate. I think my parents, my mom especially, um, made a big deal about school. So we would get new clothes for the first day of school and a new book bag and all the pencils and tools that we could have so it was a big deal we were excited we'd have our picture taken for the first day of school out in front of the house ready to go um, i would i for as long as i can remember i would ask my teachers for extra dittos to take home so that i could play school and um, i don't re ever remember a time where i didn't know I was going to be a teacher. It was just always something that I was going to do. But about a special teacher that you were talking about, I had a teacher, Kathy Brown, who is um, one of my high school teachers, and she fascinated me because when we came into the classroom, we had to be in our seats when the bell rang, and she taught from bell to bell, and this was I mean, now it's a term that we all use. We want to be teaching from bell to bell, but this was quite a long time ago. And she would lecture and then for half the period, and then she would put on a um, film, the old projectors, and we'd watch a film, and every single day, the film would go off that front wheel and start looping around the second one as the bell rang. And I was so impressed by that. There was never any wasted time. We learned so much in that classroom. And she was so passionate about teaching. And, and that's what I wanted to do. So what would you say to someone who's considering teaching as a profession? I would say if, if you are passionate about it, go for it. If you're on the fence or thinking, oh, it might be something that I want to do, it's probably not for you. You have to be passionate. It's a lot of work. Um, the pay isn't wonderful, but the benefits with the students are the, the hugs, the seeing, the, the joy in students when they learn something new. Um, those things are immeasurable and, and fantastic and wonderful, but you really have to have your heart in it to do it. And you've had 22 years so, of that. I have, um. yes. Well, congratulations to you for being named the Teacher of the Year for the uh, River Delta Unified School District. We've been speaking with uh, Mandy Friedel. Congratulations to you. Thank you so very much. Quite an honor.